Back to you, Ryan. Kristen, thanks. We are revving up the engines this morning on Good Day Orlando. Of course, that means the Rolex 24 is coming up as well. Daytona National Speedway getting ready for the Rolex 24. Four hours of non-stop racing this weekend. And joining us as we do every year, the drivers, brothers Ricky and Jordan Taylor. Good to see you both. Uh, feels like we were just here a month ago talking about this. Yeah, the reunion. Yeah, and you guys were on different teams. Last year, you were on different teams, and this year, how different is that to be on different teams? Well, we've done it for a year now. Yeah. Um, I joined Acura Team Penske at the beginning of 2018. Uh, Jordan's still with, with Cadillac, and uh, you know we're looking for, to kick off the new year with a strong start at the Rolex 24, but uh, it's always fun racing, racing with family. And Jordan, we were just talking about yesterday how this race is getting bigger and bigger, and it's such an international flair that comes to Daytona for this. It is. I mean, it brings drivers from NASCAR, Formula One, IndyCar. Um, this year we have Fernando Alonso from Formula One, Alex Zanardi, um, so many big names and big storylines. So it's it's really the Super Bowl for sports car racing, but it really kicks off the year for motorsports in general. Well, let's talk about Alex Zanardi for a second. This, if you know racing, was a tragic accident. He's back racing, first time at Daytona this year. It's such a special, inspirational story. I mean, he lost both of his legs, unfortunately, in a terrible accident uh, back in the early 2000s. And uh, he's come back to be a multi-time Paralympic uh, gold medalist, world champion, hand cyclist. And now he's making his first Rolex 24 at Daytona start. Uh, he, he utilizes hand controls. He manages to do the driver changes, walking on his fists. And uh, if you look at the guy, his upper body is jacked. So uh, really an inspirational story. And I uh, look forward to seeing him out on track. He, he doesn't give anything up. So I uh, don't don't expect him uh, to be a middle of the pack guy. He's he's right up there. He is a fierce competitor and a great inspiring story. The goal, of course, is to get this trophy. And what does it take to win a race like this? I mean, 24 hours is a long time. Obviously, four drivers. Uh, what goes into being uh, successful at this race? I, it's a bit of everything, a bit of luck, a bit of patience. But at the end of the day, you have to have a fast car and a fast lineup. And these days, the cars are so reliable. You know, you run flat out for for 24 hours. So you're just changing fuel, changing tires, changing drivers, and uh, the more you can. Better so it comes down to that last two hour period and you got to be there to win it. Uh, give a sense now. Uh, practice tomorrow. I know for you guys uh, leading up to this weekend, uh, what can fans go out there and see? Yeah, there's a four day ticket available. If you go on 1 800 Pit Shop or Daytona International Speedway.com, uh, kids 12 and under are free. Uh, there's a ton of action on track and off track this weekend. We've got uh, practice and qualifying as well as night practice tomorrow. And then Friday is kind of a slow day. It's a good day to come to the track, see the cars up close, meet some of the drivers. And then Saturday kicks off with an autograph session and the, and the start around uh, 2 30, I think. And then uh, there's non stop racing, you know, Ferris wheel, carnival rides, hot dogs. You name it. Do you guys have a friendly side wager going here or no? No, I don't think so. We just, yeah, we just want to watch. You yeah. want to watch yeah. and a chance to have that as well. Well, it's great to see you both every year. Best of luck this weekend and appreciate you coming in. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. And of course, as you can say, four-day ticket and go to the website. It's probably the easiest way.